Welcome to Shift by Bacardi. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, it's Bacardi Shift, and I'm going to talk about what I like to bring to parties because I think it's going to happen soon that we're all going to be able to eventually start seeing each other again. And there's no better way to make friends than bringing over a big bottle of liquor made into a cocktail. It's delicious and exciting. A uh, personal favorite of mine right now, everyone likes it. It's the old fashioned, but the little spin on it is that I kind of use whatever I have on my back bar. So that could be anything from Santa Teresa rum to a little bit of tequila. You know, these are options that are there. You got gins, you got all this other stuff. Today I'm gonna use these two products because they're delicious and I'm a big fan of split bases and what better way to experiment than on your friends. So, uh, but in this instance, I'm gonna make a big batch of it. And to do that, we are gonna need some vessels. And these are gonna be the options that you have for that. If you're at home, you need a big one to mix it all together, make your life easy. Any one of these will do. So I'm making a full bottle of liquor here and Trusty pot's gonna do me good, and I'll probably use this measuring cup here just to kind of get all my measurements right because it's always best to be accurate. Um, now, depending on what you're gonna do, at the end of this, you're gonna wanna add a little bit of water to dilute it. 20% is kind of your magic number. Um, but I'm gonna be pouring mine over ice when I get to whoever's house, I'm gonna go. But if you're gonna go camping or you're gonna go hiking and you're gonna not have access to ice, then dilute it a little bit and Chuck it in the lake when you get up there and it should cool itself down to a nice temperature. All right, so we've chosen our giant mixing vessel and uh, I've also grabbed a couple of utensils to stir. Chopsticks, great one. Uh, classic mixing spoon, you could use a wooden spoon, you can use really whatever you have around the house. Um, but we're gonna start out with our tequila. We're gonna need about 500 mils of that, which that should be about 500 mils. So we'll just have at her. And it is 500 mils, bang on, that's good. So now this bottle's empty, it's gonna be our our, uh, our final bottle that we're gonna put our old fashioned in. Uh, we're gonna add two, 200 mils of rum. It's gonna bring us up to 700 mils because we've gotta remember that the bottle is 750 mils of capacity. And then we're gonna add our bitters. And when it comes down to adding bitters, in a regular fashion, I'd normally put three, almost every time. But because we're doing it in such a large quantity, and when you scale up like this, the bitters don't really, they don't play the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a dash of each, so two, uh, a dash of each, Angostura and chocolate bitters. It's, uh, you know, 60 ml drinks for each old fashion, and there's 12 and a half drinks in all your bottles. It's 60 ml, so 12 and a half. We'll call it 13 dashes of bitters. All right, got our bitters in there. Give it a quick stir, get it all moving around, get it going, get it mixed. Uh, next up, sweetener. I'm using maple syrup. That's what I had in my cupboard. I'm sure like you guys, you know, you're, you're at home and going to the grocery store is not the most ideal. So again, use what you have around your house. Use the sweeteners that you have. Use the booze that you have. Use the bitters that you have. But when you're doing it, just remember these golden ratios. These are like little cheats that, you know, they're gonna be they're gonna be balanced almost every time. For an old fashioned, that means that 60 mils of booze and then about a bar spoon of a sweetener or a single sugar cube and then two to three dashes of bitters. No matter what spirit bitters and sugar you use, more or less gonna taste good. Uh, for this whole thing here, I'm gonna add 50 mil, which would be about a scant bar spoon per drink. All right, so we got all our ingredients in here, we're ready to go. All I'm gonna do, literally, this is so easy, and the beauty of this is that, you know, when I come back from my rides in the afternoon, if I don't wanna have a beer or something like that, I'm gonna have this in my fridge, ready to go, all I need to do, Pull it out, I don't even need to measure. I can just literally dump some in a glass with some ice and away you go. You're drinking old fashions. I'm gonna go ahead and get this into a bottle. I suggest you can funnel. But you know, try and be as careful as possible. I'm gonna transfer it into another vessel that's gonna make it a little easier to pour so I don't waste my precious, delicious old fashioned. It's gonna be for later. You simply open your fridge, 
grab a chunk of ice, pour it over ice, and away you go. And now, like I was saying, this is how easy it is. Always measure, you know, if you can, if you got the option. 60 mil in a glass. Cork back on, that's gonna go back in my fridge so it can chill. I'm gonna give this thing a quick little stir. I'm telling you, this is the best. It's like, no fuss, no minus. All of a sudden, you're good to go. Give yourself a little peel, a little zest. And now you're drinking old fashioned at you know, every party, after work, after a long shift, after whatever it is you do, it's a hassle for old fashioned. Cheers. All right, well, I'm gonna get this apron off and go relax and enjoy my old fashioned.